Welcome uh, to another PhotoLink um, video on GIMP. Uh, this one we're going to cover the contrast mask. Um, a long time ago, in photography and still to date, uh, what film photographers a lot of times will do is they will take a negative and uh, then they'll take a positive of the negative and sandwich the two together where the um, positive of the negative is uh, underexposed. But what it does is, is it... Um, reduces the contrast in the uh, image, brings out more shadow detail, highlight detail, and uh, basically uh, reduces uh, global contrast while it builds color intensity and so on and so forth. You'll see some of the uh, characteristics of this. Um, in uh, the contrast mask, basically what we're doing is we're taking an image and we're superimposing a black and white negative of the image over the image, giving it a, Ga or a Gaussian blur to slightly increase detail, or to increase detail, and um, I think you're going to like what you see. Well, first of all, you load an image. This is an image of some local clergy I took uh, a picture of, and if you'll notice, uh, right here, some of this uh, highlight detail in the back I would like to eliminate. And I'd also like to elim or I'd like to increase um, the local contrast in the image. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to duplicate the image into a new layer. And um, it's what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it and we'll call it contrast layer. Just so that um, you know if we're working on it in the future. Let's see, contrast. That time it's stuck. So we're working in the future, we can identify what the purpose of the layer is. We're going to come up to our colors, and we're going to desaturate this. Now, you notice we can desaturate on lightness, luminosity, or the average. I will prefer to um, desaturate it on the luminosity values of the image. And I'll say OK. And this layer becomes a black and white image of uh, what I took. Now I'm going to come up to colors, and I'm going to invert that image to turn into black and white or to a negative. The reason I'm doing that is when these two images are brought together, uh, this will put uh, light next to dark and dark next to light, and reduce the overall contrast. Additionally, well, I can probably, I, sh I sometimes do it now, but what I'm going to do is I'll do this next step in a minute. But uh, what I'll do now is I will take this into overlay on the layers mode. And you'll see that what we have is we have a controllable um, contrast layer on this image. Now to increase the detail on this image, and I'll magnify it to do it, what I'm going to do is take this up to, like, let's say, uh, 200, uh, 100. I'm going to come over, select my contrast layer, come over to my filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to leave it at about a 5 because this is a reduced sized image. I'm going to say OK. And if you'll notice, you can barely tell it, but the detail pops back in on the image. So I'll take this down to a 67. Then you can adjust the opacity of this contrast layer to get the desired results. So if you'll notice, the wood in the background is basically done what I wanted to do. So we turn this layer off. And it has done wonderful things to my uh, uh, local contrast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this one more time. I'll delete this layer. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is here's my original picture as it's brought in. I'm going to um, reproduce exact copy of this. I can rename it. Contrast. And 
And then what I can do is then come up with this layer selected, come up to my colors, desaturate it on luminosity, or you can choose other methods, whatever looks best. Then I'm going to come up, and after I've desaturated it, then I'm going to invert this layer to a negative. Then I'm going to come up and select the layer mode on this as overlay. And if you'll notice, what we have is we have our contrast layer that is controllable. And uh, to increase detail, I'm going to select this contrast layer. And I'm going to come to my filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and select the five, horizontal and vertical, and say OK. And it increases my detail slider nicely. So I can adjust my slider on the opacity to get the effect that I like to get all the way from off to completely 100% opaque. What I'm going to do is drop this back to about there. Okay. Now when you're satisfied with your image, naturally you just come down here and you tell it to flatten the image. And there's your image with that uh, contrast filter applied. Well, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, this video and um, uh, please if you have pictures you like to work on send them to me at uh, Joe G that's J-O-E-G at www.photolink that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com uh, and we can work on them together in a video and uh, please visit my site at www.foto linq.com and uh, please have a good day. Thank you. Hope this was helpful.